So we're gonna try this. Again. We're gonna have to finish this lap up. That was a that was a nice wall drag. I'm gonna lift up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here for a little Rivals event. So I've run this a few times, but I have found out that apparently um, I've been knocked down in the leaderboards by my uh, couple of my friends here, and I'm trying to find out, well, what they actually did. So I think we need to uh, sort these into friends. No, but top scores near me by friends. So it looks like Anthem, Slap, Ranga and Jamwidge beat me. Looks like Slaps running the 84. Anthem's up to 89 in this. And, uh, well, it looks like they're running uh, some other cars. I was running Chelsea and Elfus. We're here today to try and beat these guys and uh, see if we can't get higher up in the, uh, well, in the drift scores. So it looks like he's running the Ford Mustang S5. And, uh, well... We're definitely not going to be running this RX-7. We're probably going to have to go to Denofa's, or we're going to bust out that uh, that Spec 5 Mustang again. Because uh, I feel like that could be a very co good car to run. 612 horsepower, or we can run Chelsea Denofa's or Vaughn Gittins. We can try to run it with Chelsea's Denofa's Mustang, and then we'll probably bring out the Spec 5. So, rival event here at Dubai Mountain Circuit. Going to try and uh, knock down my friends here today and uh, see if we can't get back on the top of our friends leaderboard on our full Fantex setup. And, uh, well, we're going to see what happens. I've been able, I've linked the whole track before, but I wasn't throwing a lot of angles, so we're going to see if we can't, like I said, beat them and get our scores back up even higher. Maybe uh, crack that 90s or maybe uh, 100. You know, shooting shooting real high for that one. But we're definitely going to give it a couple laps here and uh, see how she runs in the rival event and see if we can't knock down a couple of our friends and get back up on that top spot. Looks like I believe this is Jandwich and he's our next rival to beat. We can do a little third person for today. That was a nice little wall tap. I don't think our first lap is going to be enough because we were not starting in drift so there's a lot of lost points there but we will see where we're at at the end of this lap and maybe be able to gauge if I think we'll be able to throw down some good points it's kind of a bit of a lazy a lazy transition there and it was not quick enough. I thought I could stay in fourth, but looks like I needed to downshift the third to this section. Because last time that that 84,000 I believe I have was uh, the entire course being linked in full here. So we're going to see maybe if we need to change it up a little bit and try and change up gears, throw a little more angle in the car to get those. Uh, crucial like 5,000 points that I'm trying to get that was uh, at the brink of losing all those points because if you go too far you lose everything and then all your work is done well that's not what I wanted to do so like I said first lap just a lap to kind of get the tires and everything warmed up. Stay on track. We don't lose our points there. And there's that over rotation that I was oh so worried about. So this Chelsea Mustang is actually just uh, out of the box. I haven't tuned it, changed anything on it. So I'm pretty sure if I change it a little bit, I could probably get the car to handle a little bit better. Probably not come around as fast, but uh, we're gonna run it how we brought it. So don't go that far because you lose all your points. 
Note to self. So this is our go-to lap. Uh, what? No. So that's not how I wanted to start that go-to lap. So we got a fresh set of tires on the car. Reset our uh, car a little bit. We're just gonna try and do this again. We tried a little uh, quick, uh, little SC bit in the beginning to see if maybe that'll be enough to get us some points in this run to beat one of our rivals because our target score is 82 5 44, which I feel like that's doable on an outlap. Could be wrong though. We will see what we can come up with on this outlap. Second attempt here. First attempt kind of got completely screwed up. We transition there. Same fourth gear. Run that really close to the front bumper. Don't over rotate this section like I did before. Kind of stay in angle. Thought we were going to lose that there. No handbrake. No handbrake there. If I handbrake it, probably would have over rotated the car. Just use left foot brake there. No clutch kick. No more clutch kick to stay on throttle. Have to handbrake that one. There we go. Final bank section or curve section. As many critical points as we can through this section and not biff our points at the end by shooting too wide. We didn't beat it, but now we are kind of on our out our outlap. We get a lot more points going into this section now than we did last one. So this is this is the money lap to try to get up there in points. Just gotta stay focused and try not to use that handbrake as much as possible because I seem to get in trouble with handbrake. I tend to over rotate in this RTR. I almost grabbed it there, but I decided to use the clutch instead. This car can drift this track without the use of handbrake with pretty much clutch kicks and left foot braking, as we are doing now. Use the handbrake here, slows down a little bit more. Our sideways, nice uh, gentle drift, We're keeping angle. There it is, and that is what I was talking about. That is my curse of handbrake pulling. I tend to uh, throw myself too far. So we're gonna try this. Again. We're gonna have to. Finish this lap up. That was a that was a nice wall drag. Just trying to throw some crazy angle to see what the car can do and can't do. So we're gonna try and make sure we are in the correct angle of trajectory coming off this lap because this lap is way done. So we're gonna run this for a hot lap now. Nope. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. Well, this lap's done. 
let's uh let's continue to run this and see what we can come up with i think this is a perfect time to uh change it up and run the rest of this lap in uh first person oof that was just a off the wall 360 for style right Tend to seem to throw too much angle in first person now. I think it's because I'm trying to point the camera where I want it to go. I tend to over rotate a little more in this view. I feel like if I just used it more, I'd probably get used to it better. Nice, calm, gentle drifting. Barely on power, but enough to keep the tires going. Just tap. We're good. Oop, too much. And there's that 90 degrees, which I held, but I lost all my points. I call BS for the. Can you please fix that? All right, so we're gonna switch back into third. And we're gonna try and get a good, good run on the first turn and do a flying lap and not over rotate ourselves because we were doing so good that lap. I gotta get on top of these other TOS guys. I got to. Here we go. This is this is the lap right here. We're already at seventy percent tire wear, so this is the last lap we're gonna get to do on this car before we need to uh, get some more rubber. That was almost really bad. I went full lock and I was not sure I was gonna come out of that. Doing a little uh, Jandwidge ghost tandems. And that old man drift car. Stay an angle. Use the angle of the car, the power and the left foot brake to keep the car an angle. And there we go again. Oh, wrecked. I'm gonna try to do a little SC section, get some points. Not as many points as we would be on a flying lap, so we'll probably get two laps out of this before we end this episode off. Maybe three. I only think I can get three laps on tires. <laughs> Because I'm still on fuel and tire. So, I do like how the grip level changes when tires get worn. So that's why I use them. Well, that was a major uh, loss of power. So, I feel like I need to tune a car up to be able to do this a little bit better. Or change this car around a little bit. Maybe bring out the ESEA vet. And see if I can uh, throw it down with another car, but I wanted to use the Nanofa Mustang because, well, that's what the rival event is for. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I'm really hoping I can get there on the on this outlap and not over rotate myself like I have been doing recently. keep hitting lock and I get scared I know this is not our big points run right now because that was a very bad transition just 
See, we can't go. We can't go 90. I wish, really wish they would kind of fix that, but unfortunately, we can only get so much. So we're gonna throw this flying lap out before we end this episode off. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little uh, friendly competition between the two U.S. guys. They're not even uh, really sure I'm doing this, but they will soon. Trying to beat their score, because uh, I know uh, Renga told me the other day he beat my score, so that's uh, kind of why we're here. A little friendly grudge match between the team. Wouldn't really call it a grudge match, but all right, we're gonna try our fly our fly out lap this time. Probably could have gotten more points to there, but we're just gonna try it. On this lap, we should be okay, as long as we don't over-rotate ourselves. As I say that, we almost biffed the entire run. I mean, kind of probably still screwed that run up, though. Probably lost some very critical points to that section, but we're still... We still banked our points, though. That's, that's the good part, because... We didn't screw it up to the point where we lost the ball, because then this lap would be done. I keep thinking his ghost, I'm gonna hit his ghost, it's gonna mess me up, but it's not. Just stay in power. We didn't over rotate. I played a little cautious there. So now we can lay on power through this section. Transition ourselves with the brake. A little handbrake. Nothing major. Throw more angle. Stay on track. There we go. The brakes will shoot off track. We lose all the critical points. ourselves down. I played that a lot closer than I wanted to. Don't think we're anywhere near enough points on this run. So we may try one more since I believe we have one lap left on tires. Although I forgot we have that 9,000 banked right there. Not enough. So we got one more run in, in us, in our tires right now. Stay on power. I'm not gonna let this go. I don't wanna admit defeat. So like, if you guys have tried this before, let me know whereabouts you guys sit. Maybe direct message me on Twitter, you guys is uh, positioning on the leaderboard. I'd be very curious to see where you guys are at on this. If you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. This looks like a decent run. Yeah, 20,000 banks. I did lose a little bit there, but it wasn't too much in loss of transition. So we still should be okay. Through the cobblestone section. This is going to be probably our final attempt at this. Here for today. These guys are setting some really good, uh, really good scores up here. That was a big major loss of points. Maybe we can make it up. Kind of running some steep angle here. There we go. So if we don't get it this time, I think I will have to admit defeat for today. 
can come back and try this another time, maybe with a different car. Uh, that's it. That would have been not enough anyways. So that's going to do it for me for this episode. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to tap the like button subscribe. I do appreciate all support. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time.